guys! So, remember in the last video I told you that I was gonna go to Ireland and the UK? Well, um, I'm back! Yay! So I've had time to recuperate and I'm going to tell you about all the exciting things I did in Ireland. I'm going to ask myself some questions that people have asked me since I've been back. So here we go! So Christine, tell me, where all did you go on your trip? I went to Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, England, Wales, and Paris. What was your favorite place in Ireland? Well, um, my favorite place in Ireland was pretty much just like the west coast of Ireland um, because it was so beautiful. It had like countryside everywhere. Lots of cliffs, which were pretty much my favorite thing to see. Like anywhere that I went on my trip, I, I wanted to see cliffs because they're so exhilarating. I don't know if many of you have been to like legit cliffs, but it's really just like you, you go up a mountain and there's just like a cliff and then there's water, there's just the cliff, cliff, water, cliff, water, and the water's here, and the cliff is here, and you're here, and you're like, if the wind blows, I'm going to fall and die, but this is the most awesome looking thing ever, and I just want to get closer and closer to the edge, but you can't because sometimes there are no handrails. <laughs> what was your favorite thing you did while you were on your trip in Ireland? So I went to this place called Eagles Flying, and it's pretty much a place where um, you can, like, see all these different types of like predatory birds and like hawks and eagles and owls. I actually got to catch a hawk and an owl on my arm and that was pretty sweet. Here's Molly um, in this picture right here. She is pretty freaking awesome. I, after catching Molly on my arm, I was in love with barn owls. Now, now I want one, which I can't, so now I want to like go play with them all the time, but um, that was probably the most exciting activity that I did in Ireland. Did you rent a car while you were in Ireland? Yes, I did have a car, and it was awesome. It was a Nissan Micra, it was so tiny, and I actually really enjoyed driving on the opposite side of the road. Actually, while I was driving, I was listening to like this one CD the whole time, and it was pretty relaxing music. It's actually the background music to this video right now. It was just like a really calming CD, and it became like the theme CD music to my trip. Anything else you'd like to mention about Ireland? There were sheep absolutely everywhere. And I loved it. Like, I remember the first sheep I saw, I freaked out, and I, I took a picture of it. This is it. And then I saw more sheep, and I took pictures of those. And then, like, here's a sheep, and there's a sheep. Everywhere is sheep, sheep. And it was just fantastic. I loved it. It made me want to come home and have a sheep farm. Which, I don't know the first thing about having a sheep farm, but I'm pretty sure it begins with having sheep, which is what I want. What were your favorite places in Scotland? The Highlands were beautiful. I, I visited the Highlands for only a day. I saw Loch Ness, and then I also got to ride the Harry Potter train. It's the Jacobite train, and it's the train that the Harry Potter Express was based off of. And it was absolutely awesome. It's like a legit steam train and it was a cool, cool experience. When I was in Scotland, I mostly stayed in Edinburgh, though, with a friend. Edinburgh is an absolutely beautiful city. If you ever have the chance to visit it, like, go, because it's just beautiful. What was your favorite part of England? Once I got to England, my dad flew up, and he hung out with me for about a week. The previous four weeks of this trip, I was by myself traveling. You know, my dad flew up, and we got to explore London for three days, which was really cool. I'd already been to London before, but it was cool seeing how excited he got about uh, Buckingham Palace and Westminster Abbey especially, and you know, Big Ben, and all the double-decker buses. My absolute favorite thing about England, though, was the Harry Potter studio tour. If you ever get a chance to do that and you're a Harry Potter fan, even if you're not a Harry Potter fan, my dad has only seen one of the movies, and we both absolutely loved it. There, there's so much stuff. And it's all authentic. All authentic props. And it's so cool, like, being able to watch the movies now and I'd be like, I was there. Um, I was there in the Great Hall. I saw Luna's party dress from movie six. If you ever have a chance to go, do it. Absolutely do it. It's worth the money. It's worth it. 100%. We also went to see Stonehenge, which is pretty cool. This is just like this huge, massive stone hinge stony place in the middle of this grassy area. So what did you do in Paris? It was just a day trip to Paris and we pretty much saw all the four sites that you'd ever want to see in Paris. The Notre Dame, uh, the Louvre, the Eiffel Tower, and the Arc de Triomphe. So overall I had a really great trip. I got to see so many awesome things in so many beautiful places. 
and I got to do so many cool things, so many cool experiences, so I'm so glad that I could go on this trip. So there's a shout out I would like to give. Over Christmas, I actually received a Christmas card from one of my fans, and it's really cool I wasn't expecting it at all. When it came, I just kind of was like, I, I absolutely freaked out, and I my face was like blushing, and I was like bragging to all my friends that I got a Christmas card, and it's all the way from Canada. Like, it has like a Canadian stamp, when you take it out, it's a Christmas card. To one of my favorite YouTube vloggers, Christine Vini, from one of your biggest fans, Max Kalen. So thank you very much, Max. Um, that is so awesome. Look at all these glittery stickers. That's just so I can put glitter on my face. I think it's so you can decorate your face with glitter. I, I don't know. If you guys didn't know, I, I do have a mailing address if you want to send me a card. Another big thing is that I got an HD PVR to record some high def gaming. So if you guys have any ideas of games that you want me to play, then let me know. I have a feeling that I'm going to be playing lots of scary games in the near future. So, but that's the end of this video, and if you liked it, please don't forget to give me like a thumbs up if you want, and, and comment. I will leave you with this video of Blackberry terrorizing Stonehenge.